Hey guys, it's Delightful Dylan, or Dylan, whatever floats your boat, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this black theme slash style and or design on uh, YouTube, because I personally think it looks really sick, and uh, I don't know, I like it a lot more than the white themed. And I will supply all of the links in the description of what modifications that I have used for this. So uh, let's just get right into this. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is go to the Chrome store and then go to extensions. Once you're there, you want to search up an app called Stylish, well an extension called Stylish. So once you're here, you want to go to the extensions, you don't want to go to the apps or anything. You want to go and you want to go uh, add to Chrome. So it's going to say you want to add it and you're just going to say yes. And, uh, so. so once you have this uh, into your Chrome, they come. They have their own website called User Styles, which I will have linked in the description. So honestly, this whole website you can customize any like literally social media that you use, from Google to Facebook, there's to Twitter, and it's really cool. There's themes and everything modifications. So if you're personally looking to get what I have for mine, which is a black theme, you just want to search up YouTube just to limit your uh, search options. So personally, I really uh, like this one, the dark tube. It's like a blackish grayish that I have here, and I think it looks very fresh, nice, it's relaxing. And so that's that, and then you just, oh, here, let me go back, and then you just want to update with stylish and then you it'll automatically go in up on your YouTube you don't need to refresh so once you have that done you'd probably have it like this and then what I personally love is this little uh, extra add-on you can do so if you see here let's say if I watch a video um, you see how it's blue here instead of how it would normally be red I modified it to my own special color, which was a color of blue that I customized myself. So for example, if you wanted that pink you have there, you select the pink, you change this uh, instead of the custom to pink, and then you update with stylish. So once it's updated, you go back, and it would already be pink as you can tell. And then as well, this becomes pink. And I think that's all that becomes pink. And then also with stylish, you can have you have the thing here where you can see what modifications you have on. For example, I have dark tube. I have the color theme or the the progress bar. And then I have this color theme, which is literally just this red design here. But if you didn't have the black theme on it, it would be a red uh, overlay which I think looks sick, but I just like it like this because it's red and it goes with the YouTube, just to bring out some more color for the red instead of it just being full black. So as I was saying, yeah, you can do like a 9 cat as your progress bar, you can do this black and red one, and then you just install with Stylish. Um, uh, here's, for example, a blue one instead of my gray theme that I have. Um... And there's tons of options that you can do, tons of modifications, like that's a progress bar that you can use, that's another progress bar, I'm not crazy about it, but it's, I like it. Overall, I think it's, uh, I, th I like it a lot. You can also, as I said before, for example, make your Facebook background black, your Twitter background like blue, whatever floats your boat, and literally it's just customizable to your preference. And uh, I think that's been it for today's video, guys. If you like it, please leave a thumbs up. If you want more tutorials, because I have a lot of custom things that I use on my computer to help it run smoother, to make it look cooler. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. If you guys want more tutorials, leave a like. It's been yeah, it's been Dylan. We'll see you later, boys.